Right, this is a Rafa Pro Team Climbers Jersey, 27,000 kilometer review. Um, before we get started, I know that my stomach is sticking out the bottom of this. I'm wearing this jersey with normal pants and shorts to illustrate a point later, so bear with me, okay? The Rafa Pro Team Climbers Jersey is part of their Pro Team range, which is the top of the line, super lightweight, super fragile, professional cyclists wear that Rafa do. This is the black one. This is the small size. Uh, before, before I start talking about the actual item, let's talk about uh, the 27,000 kilometers part. This jersey hasn't done 27,000 kilometers. However, the first pro team climbers jersey I got from Rafa in July 2015 was the start of this 27,000 kilometer journey. That first jersey was a previous iteration, a previous design iteration of this. Um, that one died. I'll get onto that later, what happened there. Um, I then had it replaced. That one died. And I then had that one replaced. And this is this. I also bought a bright pink one because they do a lot of different colours. Um, that one has since had something go wrong with it. So over the course of this 27,000 kilometres, I've had one, two, three, four of these jerseys. This is the most recent one that I've got that hasn't actually died yet, and I say yet. The next thing to talk about is, at the moment, you can't buy this off the Rafa website um, because it's not available. Um, I contacted Rafa about this and they said they are going to relaunch this item along with some other pro team stuff, but they're actually calling it something different. So at the moment, you can't buy this off the Rafa site, but in the near future, you'll be able to buy the latest version of this. Um, again, we'll talk about what I hope they've updated with it later. So let's get on with the actual task in hand then. This is a very lightweight climber's jersey. And by that, I assume they mean it's designed for very, very hot conditions or when you're gonna get really, really hot. I bought this because riding through the middle of the Japanese summer is just ridiculously hot. Um, every other jersey is just too hot. So I need to use these really lightweight things through the middle of summer to not die, basically. In terms of you know, heat management and stuff, this is very, very light and I don't overheat ever when I'm wearing it. So that's the first plus point. Um, in terms of fit, where well, you can see it's, it's all right, it's pretty good. Um, shoulders feel nice, under here doesn't feel too tight. The waist is all right. The back is a little bit baggy. Um, the pockets themselves are quite big, which is a good thing, I think. You can easily get your hands in them, um, but I think they've probably almost gone a little bit too far on the, uh, on, the, on the looseness at the back. They could have pulled it in a little bit. Let's get to my visible panty line then. Um, the front of this thing is quite short. That's not a problem um, when you're in the drops or just you know sitting on a bike in a normal position. But even, with, even when you're wearing cycling shorts, this thing can sort of rise up and you can actually see your belly button um, with the, the cycling shorts coming underneath like that. So yeah, it's quite short here. Um, detailing's nice. The side panel is this kind of mesh, mesh side panel. It feels very soft. Yeah, overall it, it does fit very nicely, I think. So in terms of fit, it's perfect, kind of, apart from the back pockets. The neck's good, it's not too tall, not sort of too short, so it's cutting into your, to your neck, it's really good. Um, the zip is easy to open, easy to close. Um, they use their own proprietary zips, Rafa do, which is one thing I really do admire about them. Um, the zips are really easy to get open and close, and they're this sort of plastic material, so you know it's not gonna go rusty. Um, so that's all good. It retails at about 20 something thousand yen, so it's about 100, 150, 60 dollars, 110, 20 pounds, so it's not cheap. Um, but yeah, when you combine it with the pro shorts, you do sort of look pretty slick. This was actually the first raffer thing I ever bought, um, like I say, July 2015. And uh, when I put it, on, put it on in the shop and I put the pro team shorts on, man, it was like a real. I can see why people just instantly fall in love with it. Like you put it on and it's like it's like putting on an expensive suit, you know? Like you think, fuck man, I'm, this is a world of difference to like the sort of, you know, standard cycling kit that everyone's sort of used to. Yeah, really, really, really slick. <laughs> now, in terms of longevity, over the course of 27,000 kilometers, I've been through about four of them, plus another one which was different color. We'll get into all the stuff that's gone wrong with it in detail, okay? Um, there's a lot and some of it will make you wince. Right, let's start going into some detail then. Um, this is the sleeve 
one of the sleeves. The end piece is about three centimeters deep. Uh, it's sewn up, rolled over there. Um, the stitching on the sleeves has been fine. Nothing's gone wrong there, nothing's fallen out. Ah, <laughs> well, I'll say that. Um, yep, yeah, sleeves have been all right. They're pretty soft. The material is this kind of uh, quite high tech, sort of meshy, semi mesh material. The under part of the sleeve has a lighter, a lighter mesh material. Um, the top of the sleeve over, over the top of your shoulder sort of area is a, a standard flat sort of semi gloss material. Pretty nice. Down the side of the jersey, the whole side panel is a very thin, you can see through it, a very thin mesh. Now this, I, go, I suppose, goes towards making it super light. The front part of the jersey, that's the front part, is a square mesh. There you go, very thin again. Um, it's got a bit of rapid detailing on it. Um, the zip is nice, it's a plastic zip that seems to open and close very easily. I never have any issues with you know, it snagging or you know, trying to undo it or do it up when I'm climbing, it's all good. Uh, back pocket has this reflective part, a bit of safety there. Like I said, the pockets, pockets are good, they're, they're quite large. You can easily get your hand in them um, and you can fit loads of stuff in them. Although that does cause issues as we'll get on to later. Underneath the pocket, like the hem, the bottom, the bottom part of the jersey is this mesh again. Um, the bottom part has an elastic, an elasticated part all the way around. The side panel has a sort of slightly less than elasticated part, but still elasticated. And the front doesn't really, it does a bit, I suppose. But yeah, um, the back of the jersey is just this sort of flat gloss lycra again. Here's the zip. The zip's really good. It's their own, their own, their own thing. I don't know if they've got, yeah, they've got YKK to make that, but whichever one they've chosen is is good. Um, the combination of the metal zip part and the plastic teeth makes it really easy to use and really nice. And this this snips up and down, which is good. Um, better than a lot of other jerseys, zips. Oh yeah, one more little detail that's good. They've taped the inside of the pockets so that the pockets won't rip off the back of the jersey like that attacker thing did. What's gone wrong with it? Well, like I say, um, I've had four of these over 27,000 kilometers. The first one I had, the first thing that cocked up was the pocket junction here and this very, very thin material, which they haven't put any reinforcing on. I got a big hole here. It just ripped open, got a hole, put my finger through. That was, this, this is a shit design. This material is so incredibly delicate that I don't know why they haven't put any reinforcing there. What they should have done is they should have put reinforcing like they have here on the back of the pockets in the center, which sits here. They should have put that on this mesh part as well to reinforce it, because that, that just rips. And then I've got another jersey. Um, the, the, other, the next jersey, the lycra just perished. Um, this back part changed color to a sort of green color. And then this side section went a bit gray and the front section just sort of all the, the layers of lycra started coming off. So that just perished, got a new one there. Um, at this point, I bought a pink one because um, I had decided that I wanted it to be a bit more visible on the road because whilst looking like a black ninja is cool, it's slightly suicidal, especially if you're riding in Japan where, the, well, we won't get into what the drivers are like, but you can imagine. So I bought a bright pink one. That was good. The bright pink one was good, but I went out for a ride with one of my friends and uh, he took a load of photos. And when I got back, I thought, I thought I'd lost a load of weight, right? Looking at the pictures, um, because the, the, the pink jersey I had was sort of, it was looked like it was loose, it was sort of baggy. So I put on my black one again and it wasn't baggy, wasn't loose. So I started comparing the sizes and despite the fact that they were both small, the pink one was about half a size larger than the black one. Um, I compared them and I took I took a load of photographs as well which I'll show on the screen in a minute but the sizing was all completely wrong so their quality control in their factory is absolutely shite if they can't make two items that are the same the same size now these things were like noticeably different I mean what does that say about the rest of the rest of the company it really really was shit so I got my money back on uh, on the pink one because I actually wanted to exchange it for one that wasn't half a size too big but when we were down the shop the staff couldn't find any where the sizes matched. I mean, what the fuck? That was ridiculous. 
So I got my money back on that one. I'm, I now just have this one, this one jersey. Right, so here are the photographs I took, which I showed to the Rafa store to show that they had cocked up. Um, the first one then, the black jerseys at the top and the pink ones at the bottom. Um, you can see it, it's a pretty nice pink color. Um, now they're both small, yeah? Small, small. Made in Portugal, made in Portugal by people who don't understand how to use a ruler. Um, right, next picture. Okay, look, this black part here is the side panel, okay? So that's one edge of the side panel. That's the other edge of the side panel. Look at the size difference and the angle of the stitching on the pink one. That is a good centimeter bigger, okay? Undeniable, there you go. Next, this is the other side side panel. So the opposite side, I'm not sure if that's left or right, but it's the opposite side side panel. Look, the black, is massively smaller, massively smaller than the pink one. And the angle of stitching is different as well. Look, that is, that's, that's fucking loads of difference. Look at that, two centimeters nearly. Unbelievable, right? Next, that's the sleeve. Look at the size difference on the sleeve. Yeah, fucking hell, what are they playing at? And this is the front section, um, again, Look at the size difference. Look where the zip ends there. Look where the zip ends there. Look at the size difference. Back to the start again. So look, I mean that that is ridiculous. That is extremely poor quality control. They can't even stitch two identical items the same size. Really bad. Um, so first one, this got this one ripped here. Second one, uh, the like repairished. Third one. This elastic section, the whole the whole bottom elastic hem, all of the elasticity went. So it was just like I was wearing a big baggy skirt around my waist. So that was just shit. Um, they replaced that one. I have this one now, which I'm wondering what's gonna go wrong with this one next. As I mentioned at the start of the video, um, Rafa have taken this off of their website. Um, I actually contacted them this morning because I was planning to do this video and I was wondering, you know, what the deal was with it. Um, I started chatting, them on the, chatting to them on their live chat thing on the website, and it turns out that they are relaunching this jersey as well as some other pro team stuff, um, but they're gonna call it something else. I'm hoping that they've addressed the issues with it and then they'll release it as something else, but it will essentially be their lightweight climbers jersey. Despite all the shit that's gone wrong with this, I do actually really like this jersey because when when it's not falling apart, it's it works really well. The pockets are a good size. Um, it's nice and light, and it feels good to wear. If in the new one, if they've addressed all these issues like the lycra perishing, the hems, the elasticity going, this side section getting a massive hole in it, if they've fixed all that, then I would say yeah, I definitely recommend this. But you know, the jury's out at the moment until we see this thing and we see whether they've actually fixed it or not. So for the time being, no, I do not recommend the Pro Team Climbers jersey because so much shit goes wrong with it and they can't even make them the right size in the factory. 